going to begin with you. You're in Boston, not for the first time. You're playing Juventus, not for the first time. I'm not going to ask how this game compares to playing in the derby, but in terms of rivalry, maybe it's the second biggest for you as a, as a Roma? Yeah, Italian, okay, Italian. Italian too. Yes. Uh, well, you know, Italy, Roma playing against you is something big, something, something important, something that uh, in our city, much more than in Torino, bring uh, a lot of uh, pressure. Probably during the summer for a friendly, could be something different, something easier, but. For sure, will be a tough game. We we'll would like to prepare our season uh, seriously since the beginning, and a match like this could be, could be the first the first step for making a good uh, precision. So, will be a a real match. Paulo, Paulo, these uh, these ICC matches you've been to to many of them. Dr. Classico coming up in Miami. Obviously, Roma and Juve here. You were at Giant Stadium uh, last night for yeah. Barcelona and Juve. Yeah. They don't feel like preseason games back yeah. in the early part of your career. They feel different. Yes, it's completely different. This is not a preseason game only. This is not a friendly game, but when you play against big things like Barcelona or Juventus or Rome, in front of 80,000 people like, 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 like yesterday, it's not like, it's not like there's no, there's no friendly match, it's a real match, okay. uh, the shape is not, you know, a perfect one, but you know, you, 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 you as, a, as Daniel said, you start building something that, that, that uh, um, you take, you know, for the off season, so this is just the beginning of the long season. Daniele, um, for, for many years after you broke into the first team, people started saying, some people started calling you Captain Future. Uh, and you probably thought, many of us thought, the future would come sooner. Is it strange to go into preseason without Francesco Totti there? Yes, it is, because. Uh... I used to play, I used to live my soccer experience, my career, always with him. I, I don't know how it is without him in my, in my restroom, you know. Something different. We, we can go, uh, go through this situation, of course, but it's something different because he's a big friend of mine. And I, I'm missing him. Uh, I keep texting him uh, daily for not to leave him alone. Uh, but, you know, we have to go through, we have to go forward, and uh, it's something you know, different, but not uh, awful. Uh, we can, we can, uh, we can afford this. How do you think the footballer knows when it's time to go? <laughs> not, all the, not all the football players uh, know when, when it's time. But you, I mean, it depends on you, how you, how you are. You are uh, also out off the pitch. It's uh, something you have to, to understand daily in the training. The day when uh, a younger player will be faster than you, stronger than you, will arrive. And you have to catch this moment because uh, because of your dignity, you know, dignity, dignity, So, so I'm, I'm seriously take, uh, taking a look about this. I don't want to be ashamed of my, of my performance. You know?